Okay, so let's start cracking. First, I want to navigate to the star and I'm going to create that list. So as you can see, the star is empty and I simply want to go list J S X in here. Let's grab the data. So we're looking for people array in the data. And I'm pretty sure it's going to give me an auto import. So I just want to set up the list first. And then inside of it, I want to iterate over data. So where I have the div, I'll simply go with an expression. And I'll try to type people. And if everything is correct, I should see them. Yep. As you can see, everything works nicely. Now, I have the people. Okay, that's good. It's going to be an array. So I do want to iterate over. So let's go here with map. And I'll reference each and every item as a person. And then as far as the return, like I said, simply for now, we want to go with person that name, because that's the property that all of the items have. As a quick side note, when it comes to key, you can actually use the name in this case as well. So remember all this time I've been showing you following approach where if you have the div or whatever element you want to return, and if this is where we're iterating, we want to go with key, of course, and then we want to go with that unique one. So up to this point, all the time we have been using the ID. Keep in mind that in this case, Let's imagine that we don't have the ID over here. We still have in the name. And at least in this case, since I have four items, all of them are unique. So yes, you don't always have to go with ID, but it's going to be somewhat common because with the case of ID, it's always going to be unique. So in here, I set up the key. It's going to be equal to person ID. And then I want to render that. I want to go with person dot name. Let's save it. Now I want to navigate back to app JSX. I think I'm just going to do it right after the heading two because why not? And in here, I'm looking for the list. And again, I'll rely on the auto import. And like I said, if everything is correct, this is what we should see on the screen. Great start. And now let's navigate back to the list and now try to set up this one as a separate component. Now, if you want, you can create the file yourself and all that, or you can utilize the extension I showcased, I believe in the previous section. Basically, which one was that? This one over here, the project structure. So I want to hover over it. I'm looking for that light bulb. And I want to go here with extract component to the file. And in here, we just need to look for the correct path. You need to make sure that this is the one that we click. Okay, awesome. We want to create a new file and we want to come up with a name. So in my case, I'm going to call this person and then J S X and check it out again. We right away have the import. We right away have the component. And then if you check the person notice, we right away have the prop set up as well. Now, as you can see, there are some issues here. So basically either I'll have to pass the person from the list, or in my case, since I'm going to be spreading out, I'm actually going to remove these values over here. So it's not perfect, but at least it gets us halfway, correct? So let's just navigate back and in here. Essentially, again, I want to set up that key. So I guess this is the case where I can just simply grab this one over here, person. And like I said, we can use the name over here, like so. And then after that, I want to pass the entire person. So I'm going to be spreading out all of the properties we can most likely save, I believe. And then back in the person, I'm not going to be accessing person in such a way. I'm going to go one by one. So I'm going to go with name. Then I'm also looking for nickname. That's the second property that I want to showcase. And I also want to get that URL. Now, in order to access that URL, what I will have to do, well, I'm going to go with images, correct? Since that's the array over here. And for now, let's just leave it the way it is. And let's decide what are we going to be returning. So in here, there's going to be a div. And let's just try it out with a name because, like I said, there's going to be a bug. So eventually, we'll have an error. So for now, let me just see whether everything works. Yep. So I can nicely display the name. 
Now let's go with nickname. So right after that, we want to go with paragraph and I'm going to come up with whatever value. So nickname, and as I said, not, this is not what I wanted to do. So let me just take this one out and then I'll place it here before the curlies. And now let me access the property. And we already have a little bit of issue where notice only the stud muffin is displayed since only Bob has this particular property. And again, this is something that we're going to fix in the following video. And when we'll definitely get a bug is when we'll try to get the image. Now I'll purposely access it above since it's just going to save me essentially setting up the whole thing in the JSX. So if I have a bunch of nested properties, essentially that is my preference where I do it above the JSX. Keep in mind that of course you can do it in the JSX as well. As far as the alternative, I'm going to go here with name and I'm sorry, I forgot to actually mention a tiny suggestion. You probably want to go with the small width, my bad. So let's go here. So if you have massive images, just add inline styles like I'm doing right now. So we're looking for 50 pixels and now let me grab that image. So let's go over here, const, I'm going to call this IMG. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to go with images, correct? That's the array over here. And I'm looking for the first item and in there I'll have the small. So that's the object itself. And then in there I have the URL. So one by one, let's navigate there. Again, we're looking for the first item. Then I want to grab the small object in there. I'll have the URL property and that is going to be equal to my image. And let's try to access it over here. And like I said, we'll have big fat error. So in the following videos, we'll work on these errors and we'll see how we can leverage straight up JavaScript to fix it and have something displayed on screen.